Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stampin' with a quick inspirational video to give you some ideas for Christmas. Now, I know it's only February, but I've, I'm trying to do a little video every 25th of the month to uh, get you sort of with a bit of a head start. So, I've created this box already using a 6x6 six six sheet of cardstock, and I've cut that from the Shine On Speciality designer series paper that's in the spring summer catalogue now obviously if you're watching this nearer to Christmas and um, um, this cardstock is not available you can just choose to use whatever cardstock you fancy okay so the way I created the box was with the envelope punch board and I scored and punched sorry I punched and scored at two inches and four inches on every side of the cardstock and then folded it to create this box uh, before I folded it I just uh, cut two slits on either side of the, um, the, the the sort of the scored square in the center and that gives you um, a really nice box shape you just fold it up and glue it okay uh, there are lots of videos on YouTube if uh, you need to know a bit more about how to do that Okay, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to tie the perfect knot because um, I have customers who um, often ask me to tie their bows and their knots so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a quick video on it. Okay, so you cut your ribbon to size. If you pass the right side of the ribbon over and under and pull, stick your finger over there just to kind of keep it secure. Then take the left ribbon now and take that over and under the right side and then pull the left now left ribbon gently so that it creates that really nice sort of knot that you get on the top there, okay? It's worth having a little bit of a practice to get it right and obviously if you've got a little bit extra ribbon you can just cut that off that's not a problem I'll do that in a second because I actually quite like a nice long ribbon but not quite that long okay so I've already uh, embossed uh, and stamp stamped embossed and cut out these flower images I use the beautiful bunch uh, flower um, set I stamped with first Samark ink, threw silver embossing powder over it, heated it up and then ended up with this and I've used vellum paper, the vellum cardstock for this and it gives a really really nice finish. Then I've taken my, tw my trusty old tweezers and I've shaped all the petals. If you want to see some other f uh, videos of me doing flower, uh, paper flowers then please have a look at Artful Stampin' uh, on YouTube and you will find them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually adhere this to a peg so that that can be placed on there so that whoever you're giving this to, if they decide to have the peg and use it for something else, they can do that. So I've just got my craft stamp ink here. Um, this is an opaque white and I'm just going to actually find the better side of the peg because, you know, they're made of wood. Sometimes you get a little bit of a uh, discrepancy. So I'm going to take the better side and I'm just going to stroke down a little bit on here. I'm not going all the way to there because I want to uh, glue the flower on and I I haven't really got time to wait for it to dry to be quite honest. So I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of white on there and I just wanted to lighten that up a bit. And then all that remains for me to do is to stick the flowers onto the peg itself. So I've just popped a little bit of Tombow on there now. Just hold that down for a few seconds. I'm sorry, you're going to have to excuse the state of my nails. I um, I did paint them the other day, and they, um, I've been doing some cleaning today, and they've st it's worn off. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. So, then put a bit of glue in the middle of that one, and then just offset the flower as you stick it down on the previous one. Oh, and they like to jump around a little bit, so it's worth holding that down for a few seconds to make sure it's really stuck down as you can see it's not quite wanting to do that because vellum is not too porous and with the embossing powder on there as well it's it's not liking that so I'm just going to hold on to that for a second while I let it dry okay so while I'm holding on to that I'm just going to cut my ribbon so it's not so long 
but I do like having these long trails. It's quite romantic. Okay, so the idea was that um, by having a little Christmassy bit of inspiration, is that if you wanted to get ahead and um, start making gift boxes ready for gifts to be given at Christmas time, you'd be way ahead of the game. So there we go. I'm just going to pop that onto there. There's a little cute embellishment to go on a box, and then that can always be taken off later to be used for something else. Okay, well, thank you for joining me today, and um, I hope that helps you get started on your Christmas makes. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>